friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the text and input layer in Protopy. Let's get started. I will create a new pie and I will see this panel with preview and click this text icon to insert my text layer. And I will type in some text called title. And when I do it, you can see on the right layer, layer property panel that you have this basic option that I explained you already in the previous video. And when I go down a little bit, I can change a font option, like for example, Helvetica with a bold weight and a different size like 32 pixel with a color, let's say a blue. And you can change the opacity in this fill area. And here you are, there is a basic uh, with your basic styling option. For alignment, you can also make left, center, right alignment, or you can have top, middle, bottom alignment, so vertically and horizontally. Not only that, you can also make auto width, which is pretty new feature that when you click this auto width option, when I keep adding this zero, it's gonna expand horizontally as much as I write. And if you select the second option, which is a fixed width, then when you go over the line, it's gonna go to the next line like this. And if you want to fix both width and height, you can choose the third option. And in this case, if you go over the line, you will see that text is override going over the text box. And I won't see the first line that was over the box, box area. Okay, I will leave only the title and come back to auto width. So the below, you can see the letter spacing and line height option to style your text in more detail. And you can also have your background style um, customized as you wish. For example, if you say you want to have um, background color, then you can definitely add it like this and set the radius directly. So you don't have to make an extra box for it. You can directly make this um, text background with a border, corner radius as you wish. So like border as well and shadow. <laughs> it's very ugly, but <laughs> just to show you quickly, and you can also have a padding and touch area, etc. So you can do pretty much um, many things that you can do in a normal design tool, which is great. And so this was the text layer. And now I will show you the input layer. So when you click input layer, you will see this gray box. And when you tap in the preview, you will see that this keypad comes up on the bottom. Great, isn't it? This means when you go to your mobile um, Protopy app or prototype, um, you don't have to make the keyboard manually now. You can make a dynamic input field, whatever you put it in the keypad. So right now in the web, you cannot type this uh, type with this keypad. You need to use your computer keypad to type in something. But anyways, um, I'm going to write like title. So I'm just like ty typing random stuff and it's going to dynamically show what I write, which is so amazing. And you can control this placeholder uh, text and also the text what I'm writing. So let's check it out. So when I click this input um, layer and go to the right side, you will see this basic options. And if you go down below, 
was the text option which has single line and multi line. And I will go through the single line first. So for the text, you can just leave it empty or you can say something already like a text. Then you will see the pre filled text. And when I tap it, and if I write something, it's gonna start afterwards. Um, usually I don't really have uh, the use case for that, but feel free to try it out. And if you want to check it, uh, how the text looks like, you can also just write this first and then modify your style here. So again, I'm gonna make Helvetica bold, let's say, and I will make a color to blue. And if I write, if I delete this text, you will see the placeholder that is still gray because I didn't style it. And I write, when I write text again, you see now it has this styled text, um, how to call <laughs> text. It's displayed in the text field. <laughs> okay, so this is how you style your text in into field. And you can also style your placeholder. You can also turn it off, but you can also style to have it like a, a light blue, very light blue like this, so that it's almost invisible. And you can change the placeholder text saying placeholder text. Then now you will see this is a placeholder text and when I type in, it has a darker blue here that I can type anything. Great. So this is a basic option to style the text. And if you come further down, you will see the background style, which you can change the radius, like totally round like this, or a little bit, like 10 pixel. And you can change the fill like a black, which is extreme, but for now, I just want to show you um, how it works. And not only the fill, I can also change the border, like again, blue. <laughs> so this is super ugly, but <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> so you can change the border with this border option, and of course, put a shadow if you want. Um, and you can also add a padding. So padding is kind of like a spacing in between your input field box and your text. So here, if I make it to zero, you can see that the spacing is gone here. So if you add the space here, you can have extra space before you start your input field text. So try it out um, with your design. And lastly, uh, this is a keyboard option, which is super exciting. So when you click this uh, input field, you will see this uh, keyboard with the text, but you can also choose to have a number keyboard. So when I tap now, you're going to see only the number key keypad. And if I choose a text password and I type in, look at it. Now you're going to see a dot uh, instead of the text, which is a password. So I was so excited with this one. This also works with a number password with a number key keypad. So as you can see, it's making a dot instead of showing the actual number. Yay. <laughs> and not only that, when you have a text and when you have this button, currently it's go. So here, your return key is uh, has a text with a go, but you can also customize with a different text. So I can say done, and then it's going to show me a done. Super cool, isn't it? <laughs> and lastly, almost last, um, you can also change your theme. So if you want to change the dark theme, then it's going to show the dark. Whoa, super cool. <laughs> I know um, this was one of the features that it really excited me when I first started to learn Protopy. So I'm still excited to see again. Yeah, so 
I mean, this is unfortunately iOS only, but I hope the Pie team is working on for Android too. So, almost the last, almost. Um, when you have the focus out options, uh, this means so when you when I tap this field, it's called focus in state. So when I am focused out, the keyboard is gone. So which means when I tap outside of input layer, the keyboard will go out because it's a focus out state. So um, if you don't want this to disappear when I click somewhere else, you can just uncheck this. And if I tap it, so if I tap it and tap somewhere else, it's gonna stay still. Great. So I will tell you one more thing, which is a multi line. So this is also pretty new feature, and this is mostly used for, I think, for the messenger feature. So single line. Um, when I type in a long text, it's gonna keep go on horizontally and eventually it's gonna cut the, the cut text. But if you do the multi line and if I keep go on, it's gonna keep writing your text. See, it just goes down. You can also um, set the auto height so that until um, when you write something that is gonna go until x amount of max height yeah so i hope i can make also a time to make some youtube tutorial for this multi-line but you can already check um tutorials how to style the input field with a single line in other videos i will attach the link below so if you're interested please check it out and yeah, that's it for today. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and check notification if you want upcoming videos. See you soon.